What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the A24 Archive. This is the segment on my channel where I go back through every film A24 has ever produced in their catalog, from the first film all the way until I eventually get caught up. And today is a big episode. I have officially hit 60 films in A24's catalog, which means very soon I will be releasing a video of ranking the first through the 60th films that I have watched. I did that when I hit 30 films. And as I said in that video, I would go through every time I hit a new marker in 30. So after the 60 films ranked video, I will do 90 and so on and so forth. And so that's going to be a big video. It's going to be probably a pretty long video. But today I'm going to be talking about the 60th film in their catalog. And this is a movie I had never seen before, but was interested in checking out because it stars Bill Pullman, who I think is an incredibly talented actor. And it's a Western, which I really like Western movies for the most part. I think when they're shot well and they have a captivating story, I'm always really interested in watching. Watching them. And the movie I'm going to be talking about with you today is The Ballad of Lefty Brown. The Ballad of Lefty Brown is directed by Jared Moshi. Aging sidekick Lefty Brown has ridden with Eddie Johnson his entire life. But when a rustler kills Eddie, Lefty is forced from his partner's shadow and must confront the ugly realities of frontier justice. So I was very excited to watch this movie because I am a huge fan of Bill Pullman. I think he's an incredibly talented actor. And I was not a fan of this movie. I did not think it was very good. I think Bill Pullman gives an excellent performance in this movie. Absolutely incredible. But the movie does not service his incredible performance. It's a very bland film. There's not a whole lot going on story-wise, and I found it really hard to keep my attention. And I'll talk about that in detail as I break the entire film down for you. So at the beginning of the film, we're introduced to Lefty Brown, played by Bill Pullman, and Eddie Johnson, played by Peter Fonda. And the two of them have been partners for years and we see them spending time together. Eddie is about to go to Washington because he has been, been elected to become a senator, and he's going to have Lefty stay behind with his wife to make sure the ranch is taken care of and that everything in the town stays the way that it's supposed to. And when Eddie is getting ready to leave, this random guy comes and kills him on the spot, and Eddie's wife is completely and totally distraught by it. She's broken down, and she feels like it's Lefty's fault that he had not taken care of her. And so Lefty decides that he is going to exact revenge, and so he runs into this young kid, Jeremiah, who joins him on his journey. And also Tom, played by Tommy Flanagan from Sons of Anarchy, who I am a huge fan of, who is a sheriff, I believe, that uh, goes around with him and is trying to find the person who shot Eddie. And the entire film is this group of guys going to try to find this man who murdered Lefty's best friend. So as I said, I was not a fan of this movie at all, but I will start with the positives. I think Bill Pullman's performance here is incredible. He feels like one of those iconic characters that you would pull out of an old Western film. He gives a lot of really great monologues in this movie, and when he gives a monologue, it's incredibly compelling, it's riveting, he does such a great job with it, and his character, the whole gimmick behind it is like, he's the sidekick, so nobody takes him seriously, and he has that goofy tone in moments, but whenever he has to have a serious conversation or do something compellingly dramatic on screen, I think he's really remarkable. And that's about as far as I can go with this movie. I was not a huge fan of it. I feel like even the cinematography for a Western was relatively flat. I wasn't really all that impressed with how the shots were framed. There's a ton of character introductions in this film, and I feel like none of the characters are all that riveting. Even the guy who committed the murder against Eddie is like a really bland character and so like when he was trying to be menacing it was just hard for me to keep my attention and you know in westerns it's set in a period where there's not a whole lot going on but even in the best westerns there's like a lot of twists and turns or like double crosses and things of that nature and I feel like the plot of this film plays out in a way that feels really formulaic and like there's nothing going on to really like provide that twist and turns I feel like even the shootout which is normally when I'm watching a Western, what I really look forward to outside of the compelling performances. And the shootouts in this were really boring. I feel like the way they were framed, you didn't really necessarily feel the character's dangers outside of Eddie's murder at the beginning, which I felt like was really brutal and it had my attention at the beginning. The further this film went along, the less invested I became because of how bad the action sequences were. There was just nothing really keeping my attention enough and the performances outside of Bill Pullman in this and Tommy Flanagan are 
all relatively flat. Like Jim Caviezel, who is an absolute nut job, uh, is terrible in this movie. I feel like his dialogue delivery, he felt like he was reading off a piece of paper. Uh, just really terrible in every way. The young kid who played Jeremiah, he had some moments where he was better than in others, but his character was so kind of bland. I didn't really care whenever he was on screen. And then even Lefty's character, like I thought Bill Pullman was excellent, but there's nothing about his character that really like makes you want to stay invested in his journey or this revenge tale. If he would have been a little bit more compelling or they would have added more context into his backstory outside of a couple of monologues that he gives about some struggles that he went through or some difficulties as being the sidekick, I probably would have found this film to pay off a lot more. And a lot of the other side characters that are introduced, like Eddie's wife and some of the other bandits that come into play, and especially like Jim Caviezel's character, there's just nothing about them that that warrants keeping your attention to the screen. And so anytime Bill Pullman wasn't the central focus, I just didn't care. And I don't have a lot more to say about this movie because it's, it's just that uninteresting. I probably would never watch this movie again. And there are so many incredible Westerns from the period that Westerns were being created up to a lot of modern Westerns that have been put out that make this movie not worth your time whatsoever. So have you seen The Ballad of Lefty Brown? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I did not like this movie at all outside of Bill Pullman's performance and I do not think it's worth watching. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Yeah.